Welcome to another series of our Ego Devotional written by our father, Papa Ayo Orishe Jafo. Today is the 10th day of February 2017. And the topic before us today says, Care for one another. Our text is taken from the book of Matthew 25, from verse 35 to 39. And I read, say, For I was an hungered, and ye gave me it. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison. And ye came unto me. How many times have you visited people in hospitals or prisons and prayed for them? According to Matthew 25, from verse 35 to 46, all the sick, hungry, and less privileged people around you are just as much the body of Christ as the church. If the church has a need and you refuse to play your part in meeting it, you have not discerned the body of Christ. If you do not want the judgment of God to be upon you, Take care of the sick, hungry, and less privileged. Does it not even make common sense to help others to the glory of God? About four or five years ago, I was in Worry Prison where I saw a brother who was a member of this church languishing. He had been there for a long time. On inquiry, it was discovered that the brother was wrongly accused and detained. I demanded that the brother's case be looked into and he was eventually released from prison. If I had not gone to the prison, would that brother have seen the light of freedom that soon? In our local assembly, there are people who for one reason or another do not come to church anymore. Have you bothered to go and inquire after them? Many people are suffering for not discerning the body of Christ. They are not diligent about the things of Christ. You are wise if you win a soul. Well, we'll go quickly on a short break, after which we'll be back very soon. Please stay tuned. Welcome back once again to our Ego Devotional. Don't forget the topic, Care for One Another. We have read through and there are lots and lots of questions for us to answer in today's ego devotional how many times how often do you go to the hospitals to visit the sick except your loved ones how often do you go to the prison do you know that not all the people that are in prison are there because of the sins they committed many are there unjustly do you know that some have even stopped coming to church because somebody did not visit them and right there you are you have not even checked you just felt they are backsliding how often do you feed the poor? 
how do you take care of those that are in need our lord jesus christ is telling us that if we lack in any of these things we are not discerning the body of christ if we fail in any of these things we are not fulfilling the purpose for which god have saved us i'm using us because i'm involved too we need to check ourselves the year is still very fresh we can take a new turn we can start visiting we can start encouraging we can start talking to people looking out for brethren that have once been in church and no longer they are no longer coming we can check on them just a word from you can bring them back to church just a, a word of encouragement from you can make them decide to follow christ again how often do we visit that is why jesus said when i was hungry you gave me food when i was in prison you visited me as children of god let us check where we are lacking so that don't forget so that weakness sickness and death will not come our way it's not all every time that we have witches and wizards if we lack in any of these things if we are not diligent in any of these laws we might be failing we might not even need to be admitted in the hospital this year if we check and go back to all these things that we used to do before and begin to do them and before you know your life will bounce back again and you begin to serve God anew and afresh again in Jesus name well our father has word of wisdom for us and the words of wisdom says you are as strong as you believe in God for that reading is taken from the book of Matthew 25 35 through to 46 and Joshua 14 verse 1 the book of John 10 11 to 15 let me take you through the prayer and confession please repeat after me Lord I desire to help the sick hungry less privileged and downtrodden give me your grace to help them in Jesus mighty name amen now please let us pray together close your eyes our heavenly father we thank you thank you for your word that we have heard today lord we ask that you will help us not just to be hearers of your word that we may be doers in the name of jesus jesus let your word have a place in our heart give us the boldness to go out to the hospitals to the prisons to the needy and do that which you desire of us to do in the name of jesus i pray for my brother and my sister that this very year as they do your will let your name be glorified in their life show yourself mighty and strong in their situations thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray amen